Hi everybody and welcome back for video 6 in our series on fundamental computer skills. This video we will be focusing on different ways of opening up saved files as there are lots of different options. The very first one that we're going to do is opening up the file directly from where it's been saved. You can see here on my computer desktop that I have two files. There is one called Australia and there is one called Some Notes on Australia. These are the two files where I have been typing down the notes from the research that I've been doing about Australia. And I'd like to open one of those up. The quickest method, given that the file is right here on the desktop, is simply to double click. Double clicking on that file will open it up. There's the file and now I can keep working. That's one way of doing it and that's very easy because I have the file saved right on the desktop. Makes it very easy to get to. But what about if I don't have the file saved there? What if I know that I've saved it, but it's buried away in a couple of folders? We're going to look at how we can access the file when this is the case. So first of all, I open up Microsoft Word, which by default will give me a brand new document. But I want to find a particular file. So I will come up to my menu bar, click on the file button. Now by default, Microsoft Word has the recent tab open. And you can see here two headings, recent documents and recent places. Recent documents has a list of a series of documents that you have access recently. Recent places lists a series of folders that you have recently opened documents from. Now, I would like to open the Australia file, and because it was the most recent document, it's right at the top. All I need to do is click on that once, and there we go. It's open again. So that's a very quick and easy way of opening up a file, if it's been used recently. But let's have a look at another option. I want to open a particular file, but I'm not sure where it is, or I am sure where it is, but it's not a file that I, that I have accessed recently. Now, of course, let's have a look again at our keyboard. The bottom left hand key on your keyboard is the control key. And you need to find the O key, which is just underneath the number nine on the right hand side of the letters. Now, this is a keyboard shortcut. If I press and hold control and press the O key once, it brings up this dialog box. And you can see in the top corner of the dialog box that it says open. That tells me what I will be doing with this dialog box. I'm opening a file. There is the document that I want. I can either click on that once, the name will appear here, and then click on open, or I can simply double click. Let's have a quick look at both of them. So I've clicked on it once, the file name has appeared, and I click open. There we go. Let's have a look at another one. Notes on Australia. I will double click on this file. And there we go. It opens up again. So there's two more options for opening a file. Now those options work very well only if you know where the file is or if it is a file that you have accessed recently. But what about when you are looking for a file that you haven't used recently? or you're not entirely sure what you called it when you saved it. What are your options then? What we need to do is we need to search the computer. So let's bring our mouse down and click on the Windows button in the bottom left hand corner and we'll bring up our start menu. At the bottom of the start menu is a search box and we know that's a search box because there is a picture of a magnifying glass at the side. And you can see it's just popped up with some dialogue, search programs, and files. Now that's really important. I can use this box to search for programs. For example, I want Microsoft Word. I can type in Word, and there's Microsoft Word at the top. Or if I want to open up Google Chrome, I can type in Chrome. There's Google Chrome at the top. If I want to type iTunes, 
the, I type in iTunes and there's iTunes at the top. So I'm sure you can see how this works. So I want to search for a file though, not a program, but a file. I'm pretty sure that somewhere in the file name is the word Australia. So I'm going to type in Australia. And straight away you can see that it brings up two documents. One is Notes on Australia and one is Australian Government. Now I'm not sure which one I want, so I'm just going to click on the top one and see what see which file that opens up. I can very easily do that same search again and open up the Australian Government document the next time round. And there we go. So there are my options for opening up files. Let's quickly review what those were. The first one, click on File, click on Recent, and you can find the file in the, the list of recent documents. Or if you know which folder it was in, you can go to the specific folder and open it up from there. There is also the Open button just here. I can click on that and that brings up my Open dialog box. There is the keyboard shortcut, of course, Control O, which brings up the open dialog box. Or I can do a search from within the start menu bar. For example, if I type in the file name Australia, or if I type in a program name such as Microsoft Word. And the final option that we have for opening a saved file is to simply double click on it from where it has been saved. For example, there's a file on my desktop, double click, and that opens the file. Those are the different methods that we have for opening saved files. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.